South Louisiana Quiz Bowl Online is made possible by the generous support of these sponsors. Lapco Manufacturing, Modern Industrial Workwear. Barker Honda, Martin Luther King Boulevard in Homa. It's better at Barker. Homa Paint and Industrial Supply, proud supporter of education in the Bayou region. Hello, welcome once again to South Louisiana Quiz Bowl. We are in the elimination bracket of the junior high tournament today. We've got Berwick Junior High taking on Lockport Middle School. Good luck to both teams. Let's start with a fun little rapid fire we'll call same language, different words. Given some words as they are used in Great Britain, give me the American equivalent. For instance, what the British call football, we call soccer. Good luck. What profession is a chemist? Stanley. Physicist. Uh, no, a pharmacist. If an Englishman is angling, he's what? Jaden. Fishing. That's right. What is a lift? Stanley. An escalator. Uh, no, an elevator. What tool is a spanner? Liam. A shovel. Uh, no, a wrench. Fish and chips are fish with uh, Jaden. Jackson? Fries. Uh, French fries, yes. What's a lorry? Liam. A uh, shovel. No, a truck. What clothing accessory is a Macintosh? Jaden. A, a jacket? Uh, uh, no, a raincoat. What room of the house is the loo? Jackson. Bathroom. That's right. They call it a dust bin. We call it what? Liam. A trash can. That's right. They play knots and crosses. We play. Liam. Tic tac toe. That's right. If someone offers you a tuck, it's a. It's a snack. What clothing accessory is a waistcoat? Liam. A sweater? Uh, no, it's a vest. That's the end of the round. Take a moment to let the players introduce themselves. We'll start with Berwick. I'm Aubrey. I'm in eighth grade, and other than principal, I'm on the Berg Junior High dance team. I'm Stanley. I'm in eighth grade. This is my third year of quiz bowl, and besides quiz bowl, I do beta, student council, and soccer. I'm Dominic. I'm in seventh grade, and besides uh, quiz bowl, I like to do baseball, band, and track. I'm Hayden. I'm in eighth grade, and besides quiz bowl, I like doing basketball and soccer. Team captain is Stanley. Tell us about Berwick. Our mission at BJHS is proudly for success by doing the right thing with the right attitude. Our school provides a safe, disciplined learning environment that empowers all students to develop their full potential. The vision at Berwick Junior High includes the success of students by using data to drive instruction, with consistent implementation of a rigorous and relevant curriculum, along with a variety of extracurricular activities, ensuring that every student meets his or her goals and is successful in their endeavors. We would like to thank our principal, Ryan, Ryan Taylor, Vice Principal Dwyla Jones, Chris Hunter, and KWBJTV22 for giving us the opportunity to participate in South Louisiana Quiz Bowl. Thank you, Stanley. Thanks to the faculty sponsor, Ms. Kelly Sumwell. Let's welcome back Burwood Junior High. Plays for Lockport. I'm Ava. I'm in eighth grade. This is my first year of quiz bowl, and I'm on dance team. My name is Jaden. I'm in eighth grade, and other than quiz bowl, I do band. My name is Liam. I'm in eighth grade. This is my first year of quiz bowl, and other than quiz bowl, I do band and football. My name is Jackson. This is my first year of quiz bowl, and other than quiz bowl, I like to play soccer and baseball. Jaden is the team captain. Tell us about Lockport. Lockport Middle School, located along Bayou Lafourche, is home to the Mighty Pirates, where we say honor and heart set us apart. Our school constantly strives for academic excellence and offers a variety of sports and athletics programs such as football, volleyball, basketball, track, cheerleading, and dance. Our clubs include 4-H, Beta, Student Council, FFA, Art, Robotics, Pirates for Christ, and of course Quiz Bowl. We appreciate this opportunity to complete to compete and would like to wish good luck to both teams. Thank you, Jaden. Thank you to the faculty sponsors, Mr. Chaz Gidry and Ms. Thea Arnold. Let's welcome back Lockport Middle School. All right, we continue with the toss-up bonus round. Here's a two-point toss-up. Involving any of the senses, they are common in cases of schizophrenia and other psychoses. They may also result from alcohol or drug abuse or, uh, Jaden. Hallucinations. That's correct. Bonus question for Lockport. I want you to name in order 
The first three U.S. colonies to ratify the Constitution, two points each. A wrong answer stops you, however, in order. Jamestown. Um, you, uh, repeat that. Jamestown. Uh, no, that's incorrect. Uh, Berwick. Three answers. Virginia. That's incorrect. They were in order Delaware, Pennsylvania, and New Jersey. No points for that. Here's a two point toss up. For most collective nouns, what verb form is used? Plural. That's incorrect. It is the singular. Here's a two point toss up. When you rub an inflated balloon on a wool sweater, what subatomic particles are picked up? Uh, Dominic? Static. Uh, that's incorrect. What, what subatomic particles are picked up by the balloons? Liam? Dust. I uh, know it's picking up electrons. Two point toss up. At a certain lake, osprey feed on pike that feed on perch that eat bleak that feed on freshwater shrimp that eat, photo, that eat phytoplankton. This illustrates what ecological, Stanley? Food chain. That's correct. Bonus question for Berwick. It's a sign, but not an omen. A yield sign is an example of what geometrical shape? Triangle. That's right. What is the geometrical shape of a railroad crossing sign? It's a bonus for Berwick. X. That's incorrect. Blackboard. Your answer? Cross. No, it's a circle. Berwick, what type of polygon is represented by the road sign for school crossing? Rectangle. That's incorrect. Blackboard. Triangle. No, they're pentagon shaped. Two points for Berwick there. Here's a two point toss up. What leader's political position was strengthened by the failed invasion at the Bay of Pigs in 1961? Anyone? Uh, Aubrey. JFK. That's incorrect. Lockport. He was Fidel Castro. Two point toss up. What literary character is the Lord of the Jungle? Hayden. Tarzan. That's correct. Almost goes to Berwick. I want you to convert the following measurements as indicated. How many inches in seven feet? Eighty-four. That's correct. How many ounces in four quarts? That's incorrect. Blackboard. Eighty-four. Uh, no, it's one hundred twenty-eight. Merwick, how many feet in sixteen yards? Your answer. Fifty-eight. That's incorrect. Lockport? 48. 48 is correct. Two points for each team. We'll go to a two point toss up. Air enters the lungs through what cartilaginous tube? Stanley. Trachea. That's correct, with a windpipe. Bonus for Berwick. Canada is often referred to as our neighbor to the north. Let's see how much you know about your neighbor. What is the capital of Canada? Ottawa. That's right. What is the unit of currency? Canadian dollar. That's right. And Canada is divided into how many provinces? Seven. Seven. That's incorrect. Five point. Thirteen. No, there are ten. Four for Berwick, and that is the end of the round. Let's take Welcome a break. back to South Louisiana Quiz Bowl. Here's a new player coming into the game for Lockport. My name is Noah Bujo, and other than Quiz Bowl, I like to play baseball and football. 
All right, welcome to the game. Lockport and Berwick tied. As we continue on, here are some two-point toss-ups. Overworking the soil and overgrazing began exhausting the land of North Africa as early as 3000 BC and directly contributed to the formation of what desert? Stanley. The Sahara Desert. That's right. Jack in Golding's Lord of the Flies, Emperor Palpatine in the Star Wars Saga, Napoleon in Animal Farm, Big Brother in 1984, Yertle in Yertle the Turtle. These are all, Stanley? Tyrants. Uh, I'll accept that tyrants are dictators. What part of speech is between the two prep prepositional phrases in this example? She will be stationed in Manila or at Fort Ord. Liam. Or at Fort Ord. Uh, that's incorrect. Where would? Dominic. Stationed. Uh, no, conjunction. Part of speech is what we're looking for. One evening, you notice a raccoon chowing down on your cat's food. But unlike most raccoons, this one has no rings on its tail and is all white. What adjective describes this recessive, Stanley? Albino. That's right. Only old Zeke Farnsworth manufactures and sells supercharged biphase widgets in the United States, an item for which he holds the exclusive patent, named this form of absolute control and ownership of a product. Aubrey. Monopoly. That's right. Following an injury, if the circulatory system fails, blood pressure drops, and insufficient oxygen reaches the tissues, what medical condition occurs? Liam. Seizure. That's incorrect. Berwick. Dominic. Anemia. I know it's shock. And that is the end of the round. Berwick has taken the lead now as we come to our 60 second rounds. Lockport, first choice categories you can have MD. Opposites attract out or hodgepodge. Opposites attract. All right. I want you to attract some points to your score by giving me the opposite words, all beginning with the letter W. Good luck. Cool. Pass. Woof or weft. Pass. Sick. Well. Right. Ruddy. Pass. Unmarried. Widow. Incorrect. Humorless. Pass. Poverty. Well. Yes. Economize or save. Pass. Laugh. Weep. Weep. Wimp. Uh, incorrect. Careless or imprudent. Wise. Uh, incorrect. Cool. I got two right for four points. Give the others to Berwick. Cool. Warm. That's right. Woof or weft. Pass. That's warp. Ruddy. Pass. Wan. Unmarried. Pass. Wed. Humorless. Pass. Witty. Economize or save. Waste. That's right. Laugh. Weep. Weep or wail is correct. Careless or imprudent. Pass. That's wary. You got three right for four points. All right, Berwick, your choice now. MD, out, or hodgepodge? Hodgepodge. All right. Questions about anything. Good luck. The fastest smartphones work on a 5G network. What does the G stand for? Gigabytes. Repeat that. Gigabytes. Incorrect. The jet stream speeds up U.S. flights heading which direction? West. Incorrect. The U.S. Pacific Fleet is headquartered in what Honolulu Harbor? Pearl Harbor. That's right. Invitations often include what acronym that means please reply in French? RSVP. That's right. Tai Chi is an ancient form of exercise that originated in what country? China. That's right. What does IQ stand for? Intelligence quotient. That's right. Columbus Day takes place each year on the second Monday of which month? 
March? Incorrect. What fossil fuel is in much of the world regulated by an international group called OPEC. Oil. Oil. That's right. What organization, organization relegates U, regulates U.S. <laughs> U.S. college sports. I messed that up, so I'm giving you a chance. NCAA. That's right. You got six right for 12 points. Give the others to Lockport, and I'm going to give you a bit of a bonus there as, as a result of my mess up. I'm going to give you the, the final question of the round, even though Berwick didn't hear it. So you're going to get four chances here. Mm -hmm. The fastest smartphones work on a 5G network. What does the G stand for? Gigabits. No, generation. The jet stream speeds up U.S. flights heading in which direction? North. No, east. Columbus Day takes place each year on the second Monday of which month? October. October. That's right. Which capital overlooking the Aegean Sea is named for the Greek goddess of wisdom? Athena. Uh, ooh, you gave me the goddess. I needed the city, Athens. Oh. You got one right for two points. And that's the end of the round. Let's take a break. We'll be right back with more South Louisiana Quiz Bowl. South Louisiana Quiz Bowl Online is made possible by the generous support of these sponsors. Lapco Manufacturing, Modern Industrial Workwear. Barker Honda, Martin Luther King Boulevard in Homa. It's better at Barker. Homa Paint and Industrial Supply, proud supporter of education in the Bayou region. Welcome back to South Louisiana Quiz Bowl. Here's a new player coming into the game for Berwick. My name is Hank. I am in sixth grade. This is my first year of Quiz Bowl, and other than Quiz Bowl, I like to play sports. All right, welcome to the game. Berwick leading Lockport. Last round is two-point toss-ups. Good luck. Quoting a 1961 newspaper article, fill in the blank with the name of a city. Although it's only a week since work began, a concrete wall 28 miles long and five... Stanley? Berlin. That's right. On a compass, what direction is opposite of WSW? Dominic. East, northeast. That's correct, E N E. Name the structure in the shape of a hollow hemisphere that rests on pillars or supporting walls. Hank. A base? No, uh, that's incorrect. Lockport? Uh, you can't confer. Oh. Anyone? A temple? I know, it's a dome. Don't forget to ring in. In what story is the earth demolished to make way for a hyperspatial expressway? A force, uh, Jaden. Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. That's correct. Dividing 5 by 11 or 2 by 3 will produce what type of decimal? Dominic. Repeating. That's correct. The headwaters of the Pecos River, a tributary of the Rio Grande, are in what state? Liam. Texas. Incorrect. Where are we? Hank. New Mexico. That's right. African peoples include the Watusi, the tallest people in the world, and the shortest people known as what? They are the pygmies, who discovered that high heat kills microorganisms present in liquids such as wine, meat, broth, and milk, and that if the liquid is then kept in a sterile, uh, Stanley? Louis Pasteur. That's right. What stretches 2,000 kilometers in the Coral Sea along Australia's northeastern uh, Jaden. The Great Barrier Reef. That's correct. The Cartesian plane is formed by what two axes? Dominic. The equator and the prime meridian. That's incorrect. Lockport. They are the horizontal and vertical, or the X and Y. 180 planes were destroyed, 2,300 U.S. troops and sailors were killed, and 1,000 more were wounded. Many of the 70 ships at the base were sunk or badly damaged. Uh, Jaden. Pearl Harbor. That's correct. Gutsum Borglum worked on the massive sculpture at Mount Rushmore in the Black Hills of South Dakota. And what other similar project in Georgia? That is Stone Mountain. A young tree is a... Jaden. Sapling. That's right. A photon is a quantum of what kind of energy? Stanley. Plasma. Incorrect. Lockport. Light. 
Uh, don't forget to ring in, but light is correct. What is the taxonomic classification for cold-blooded vertebrae that spend some time on land but breed and develop into adults in... Stanley? Amphibians. That's right. May 6th is Space Day, a day chosen because what U.S. president announced on that day the goal of landing an American on... Stanley? John F. Kennedy. That's right. Pumice and granite are igneous. To what category do obsidian and basalt belong? Jaden. Meta um, metamorphic. Incorrect. Stanley? Igneous. They are also igneous. What name completes this? I'm sorry. What is inconsistent in the following sentence? After they were comfortable, they start to separate the dahlia bulbs. Jackson. Start. Uh, that's incorrect. Hank. Two. Uh, no, it's tense, verb tense. And that is the end of the game. Berwick. Berwick is your winner, and they continue to dance here in the elimination bracket. We have to say goodbye to Lockport for this season. It's a, a pretty veteran group. The only underclassmen is Jackson. The rest are eighth graders, so we look forward to seeing y'all playing varsity in the future. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you again on South Louisiana Quiz Bowl. Good night.